I'm here to I'm here to talk about my project Foodie. Foodie is an online platform where restaurants upload their meals and customers come to the platform to make orders or purchases. So I'm going to this is an overview of the website. This is the home page. When you scroll down, you see the a sample menu. You scroll down, you see the services and contact us. My main purpose of create, creating Foodie was to solve the issue of long queues at in restaurants because I noticed that a lot of people come all the way to the restaurants to make their orders when they can, when they could have just done that on the tip of their fingers through their phone or their computers. So the, I used the following technologies for Foodie. I used HTML, CSS for the design. I used Bootstrap for the responsiveness. I used jQuery and JS for the inter interactivity. I used MySQL Workbench to model the database. And I also used PHP OOP for the logic logical design. That is to fetch records and to insert records into the database. So there are two main functions here. So there's the admin page where a restaurant can launch and create meals, create their products, and there's the user user page where users log in or sign up to make purchases. So I'm going to quickly sign up as a user. Okay. So I'm going to use a test a test data. So I'm going to sign up now. So a user page has been successfully created. So I'm going to go to the admin page. I'm going to log in as an admin, that is as a potential restaurant owner. So I input my admin login and I log in. So on the admin page, the admin can create meals, the admin can delete meals, the admin can edit meals, the admin can also view others. So I'm going to test for I'm going to create a meal now, or a meal item. So in my create meal item, we have the categories. We have the meal category and we have the meal section. So I'm going to create a category. So I'm going to create, Ameri I'm going to create a category named American dishes. I'll click on the create category button. So a notification pops out that and that the category has been added successfully. So I'm going to come to the create meal section and create a meal. So I'm going to choose a random American dish or a random American food, hot dogs. So I'm going to impute the price. I'll give it a test price of 900. I'm going to click on the category I just created, which is American dishes. I'm going to insert an image, a random image. I'll choose, I'll go with this, and I'll create meal. So a meal has been created successfully. So I'll go back to my user page and refresh to see the meal that has been created just one month ago. So it is showing here American dishes with the correct input time with the correct inputs that I entered. So I'm going to show for the other functions of the admin now. So an admin can delete can edit a meal item. So I'm going to try and edit a meal item of my choice. I'm going to edit this meal card. I'm going to change the price. The price is two thousand naira. So I'll change it to a price of let's say one five and save changes. So a notification pops out that the meal has been edited successfully. So I'm going to proceed to the menu to see if it has worked, if it worked fine. So it, is, it has changed there. The meal has been the meal price has been edited successfully. So I'm also going to try and delete a meal item. I click on delete meal card. 
So I'm going to delete a, a drink item, a drink card. So I'm going to delete Fanta. A notification pops out to ask if I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure here. Yeah. So if you check, if you scroll down, you can see that the meal item has been deleted successfully. So I'll go back to my user page. A user can do two things on this platform. A user can make orders. A user can also edit his user profile. So I'll try to edit a user profile by adding a user image or a profile image or a profile picture as the case may be. So I'll click on choose file. I'll click on a test image and I save changes. A notification pops out that the image has been updated successfully. And the image has been updated shows here. And you can also see it in the sidebar. So I'll try and make order as a user. I'll try to make a purchase as a user. So I click on an item down to buy. I click on it. If you look very well at the counter, at the new cart icon, you see that the counter increased, like the number of items in the cart increased. I click on it again, it increases. I achieved this using Ajax and PHP. I click on once more, more items. I can also increase the quantity of the items I want to purchase by doing this. I increase the quantity of chicken wings to three. I increase this. So if you come to my main cart, you see that chicken wings has three, like I ordered for three items of chicken wings. So you can see the total, and you can see the items that were picked. So I can decide to delete an item in my cart. If you click on the delete button, delete. So I'll proceed to pay now. So it has taken me to the Paystack checkout page. So this was this was done by consuming the Paystack API. I integrated this payment API with my website. Of my project, so I'm going to use a test card. Okay. So the payment, successful payment has been. I was notified that payment was successful. I even noticed the cart is empty after payment. This was done using Ajax also. That after every after payment, the cart should be empty. So I'm going to view my order now here in my order tab. So this is my recent order, David Oni. This is the other I just made now, 3,700. This is it. So I'm going to go to my admin page to view the other that I just made by coming to my admin dashboard. So in my admin dashboard, the other is already there, pending 3,700. So I changed the other status. That is, if the other has been attended to by the staff or of the restaurant. So the staff saves it and it changes to ready. So if I come to my user page and I refresh, the status of the, the status change changes to ready. So that is just a quick overview on, of the functionalities of Foodie. And Foodie is ready to go live and I implore all restaurant owners to come post their webs, their restaurant on my platform. Thank you.